Measuring charge. An object has 3.12 times 10 to the 16 extra electrons. What is the charge and is it positive or negative? Well, first thing we want to know is what do we measure charge in? We measure charge in coulombs and coulombs are really just a way of adding up all the either extra electrons or for a negative charge or um, looking at all the electrons that have lost and leaving behind those positive protons for a positive charge. And so if I have a neutral object here, and I give it a whole bunch of extra electrons, quite a pile here. If I gave them uh, 6.24 times 10 to the 18 extra electrons, then we would have one coulomb of negative charge. So in this question, we're talking about negative charge. And so uh, we will look at adding electrons, but that's the definition of a coulomb, one coulomb, equals 6.24 times 10 to the 18 either electrons or protons, whether it's positive or negative. And that leads us to, well, then what's the charge on one little electron? Because that's going to help us with this question. Well, one electron has a charge of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, which you can get really by taking the definition of a coulomb, one coulomb, and dividing it by 6.24 times 10 to the 18, and you get then on one, it is 1 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. And so you can think of a coulomb, this number here is very similar to a mole uh, in chemistry where one mole is uh, 6.02 times 10 to the 23, either atoms or molecules or whatever. Um, and so Coulomb, we add up a, what, what things are charged. And in this case, it's protons or electrons. When we collect 6.24 of them uh, times 10 to the 18, then we have one Coulomb. That's like a dozen. We have one dozen is when we have 12 of something. So this is just a, a very big number because electrons are very small. So how do we calculate the charge on this object that has 3.12 times 10 to the 16 extra electrons. And so we'll take away a few since that was supposed to be one Coulomb. There we go. So here's our object with uh, 3.12 times 10 to the 16 uh, extra electrons on it. Well, we can use our formula. Q is charge and uh, I will use interchangeably big Q and small Q. Uh, I'm not sure why we can do that, but that seems to be the convention. And uh, we can take our number of charged particles and times it by what is called the elementary charge, which is really this. Uh, and it can again be positive or negative depending on whether or not we're talking about extra electrons or if we're talking about uh, a lack of electrons leaving um, only protons, which are positive. And so in this case, our number is 3.12 times 10 to the 16 times we'll say minus since we're talking about negative electrons. So that answers that part of the question. Uh, you gotta remember that, that electrons are negative. So extra electrons means we'll be charged negatively. So we'll times that by the charge on one electron. And that gives us an answer of 4.99 times 10 to the minus three coulombs or roughly five millicoulombs. And so coulombs are actually, one coulomb is actually quite a bit of charge. And so a lot of the questions will involve uh, millicoulombs or, or even smaller. Um, but uh, in this case, you could answer this question either in coulombs or in millicoulombs. And because we know this was negative because of these electrons, we can just put a little negative sign there, like there. We could have put it here too as well uh, when we started. But this is one where you really just have to um, know what the charge is on electrons, uh, that they're negative, and that when you have a lack of uh, electrons, that the charge will be positive.